there are a lot of topics which they think they are very weak in right and sometimes they struggle in doing the 100% coverage so anand i would like to start with you on this right ki agar 100% nahi kar sakte right to is it okay right or 100% karna hi hai aur agar nahi kar sakte to what should be the strategy to decide on that 60% or 80% ek to percentage kitna hona chahiye aur how to go about it see it's a very subjective question because it depends on the students level and their preparation or their coverage till now yeah and uh, typically uh, if you are in the zone of uh, 40% and 50% you should typically c- try to cover around 60 to 8 70% and in that try to excel it in such a way that you are getting 80% out of that so finally you will be able to end up uh, getting 55 to 60% in your final exams which will somewhere uh, give you any typically g- give you a seat in jee advance so quick right? question there how do i know whether my coverage is 40% or 80% so best way to do it uh, is at the end of your 12th give a benchmark test or give a test mock test which will give you a roughly idea because in the test your scores if you are going to any coaching or you are preparing on your own try to find mock tests there are pl- plenty of them uh, give one mock test and try to analyze your 11 separately and 12 separately if you don't know your level because i am dead sure that most of the students they know their level by now mm. right where they are Mm. So if the if you don't know give a mock test and try to analyze your level and then look for your coverage and typically how to select this topics there are a list of very you know important topics uh, which should be covered and which cannot be left for example these guys have been telling about chemistry chemistry is very scoring in all the exams it is mains take mains or advanced they are very very scoring so you should try to cover as much as possible in chemistry and most of the time i see that students they keep on doing lot of uh, you know weak topics in this last 6 months which they should not be doing mm. they should actually focus on very strong topics which they already have identified for example let's say uh, mechanics in 11th that is not uh, very easy to understand for most of the students and i have seen lot of students doing and putting lot of energies and time into mechanics and wasting the time because that will not help in exams rather than that if they would have actually given time to modern physics optics waves sound topics like that or topic like inorganic which is like you can memorize it fast and at least retain it in the last days also and you can start in the last days in maths coordinate geometry uh, vectors and 3d so all these topics are very important mm-hmm. and if they concentrate on that there is a very good chance that they will get a seat in all the competitive exams and they will clear that very interesting that's a that's a that's a great insight thanks for that